Good morning. You will never believe this, but finally, three weeks later, I'm going back to the gym. Woohoo! Tons of excitement because of that. Oh, look how beautiful it is. So the gym happened and oh my god, I'm so weak. I could hardly do stuff. Really so weak. It'll take a while to even get back to the point where I used to be. Uh, oh well, that's the price for not going there for three weeks, right? Okay, now back home and work. Oh gosh, I tried working and I realized I'm falling asleep while writing an email. So I took a nap. Now an hour and a half later I feel like someone hit me on my head. Oh well. <laughs> mm. Again, no time to do everything. Well, then I will do what I can. Going to walk through to the hotel where the event will be happening. It will be my first one. I've never done logistics. So, yeah, waiting for the train. Yeah, and of course running late because I don't know why I always need these additional 10 minutes. Damn it. Well, I guess I'm having one of those days. I feel sad. I feel lonely. I feel useless. Again, I'm having thoughts about my husband, about what happened. about how I could have changed so the separation would never happen blaming myself for not growing up for a victim mindset for being a mature infantile One of those evenings. <sighs> but I guess we're past the point of no return. And this is sad. Because we could have been good. <sighs> so yeah. 
I'm back to blaming myself. Well, at least it's not happening every day now. But more like once in a few days. Or even once a week, depending on how busy I am. It still hurts, but it's not that acute pain as it used to be. It's not that raw anymore. Ah, but again, it's hard to talk about it. Like something squeezing my neck. It's just sad. It's just sad, now I'm thinking that I could have changed and the separation would never happen. But if I did, I would be lying to myself, right? Because it wouldn't be me. <laughs> oh gosh, I didn't know how to win this battle, battle with myself. There is this very independent part of me that wants to do things her way. <sighs> and then there is this very dependent part of me who now is crazy afraid. Crazy afraid that she won't make it on her own. <sighs> Very scared. So hard to talk. So hard to talk. Just breathe in, breathe out, right? <sighs> yeah. So, okay, today it's a sad evening and I let it be. I let it be sad. It is what it is right now. It feels like this. And I'm not suppressing it. <sighs> yeah. Tomorrow, again, I will try to do my best, to do as much as I can. <sighs> yep. Maybe I just need my favorite dessert right now. But it's too late. And as I already know, it would fix the situation just exactly for those three to five minutes that I will be eating it. <sighs> oh well. We have a saying that Monday is a hard day. Well, I hope Tuesday won't be that hard on me. <laughs> yeah. The best thing to do right now is possibly just go to bed and wake up tomorrow to a new, hopefully sunny day. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>